What's up? What time is it? It's almost 7.30 in the morning. I'm about to go leave for my train. I'm talking to my mom. It's my last day at my uh, thing as an assistant editor. And I'm telling my mom all about it. <laughs> and she's like, did you have to sign like a non-disclosure agreement? I'm like, yeah, because legally I can't say anything. Like, there's so many things I want to tell my mom and my dad and stuff about the show. But like, I legally like can't say anything. But she's a good girl. She's not gonna I'm a good anything. girl. I'm not going to say anything. I'm like, you want to know what? It's like a reality show. And something is chosen at the end of the show. And I'm like, you want to know what was chosen or what happened in the last bit of the show? You can't know. And there's a lot of, like, details in between that's really interesting. And I can't even tell you guys because, again, I legally am locked into a contract that I can't say anything or I will get sued and, like, never be able to see the light of day again. Oh, it's going to be fun when I see my family and father's name. They're like, so what happened? How was it? I'll be like, I edited. That's about all I could say. What a, what a cushion. Okay, so pick which one you want to open first. This one's this one. open first. Okay, but I want to see if you can follow directions. Apparently not. That's Joe's. I got all your favorites. Chocolate, peanut. Oh my god. Jeez, I'm set for a couple weeks yet. We can't see. We can't see. That's a couple days. That's been a man cave downstairs, right? Piero nice. Roche, Sanchez peanuts, and pistachios. Oh, I can tell you, I don't have that. Why? It should be fun. Just be careful with it. Oh my God, more? Here you got it. What? what are you, the king of nuts? Think to the bottom. King of nuts, Matt. There's some coupons to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I need those back. Oh, oh t-shirt. Mustang, Sally. Open it. I see the Mustang. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh cool. shit, Daniela. Nice. How come he got better than I did for Mother's Day? Oh, man. Here you go. So tomorrow I leave for camp and I'm having a conversation with my mom. Because a lot of the people who are going to be going to the camp are, like, from Europe and stuff. And I realize that basic American words that, like, we don't realize as slang because it's just so ingrained in us. We've, like, known it since we fucking started speaking the, Amer like, English language, like, American version. And so it's like I was Googling it and literally the word pants, P-A-N-T-S, the thing you fucking wear on your legs is slang because in Britain they refer to pants as your underwear. I gotta like mute this TV. And what other word? It's like, what were other ones that were so ingrained? Um, I can't remember. Mom, what was I saying with slang? Oh, if you're like paying for something, you're like, Oh, it's only like two bucks or a couple of bucks instead of saying like two dollars. That's slang. And I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, now that I think about it, it's slang. But I don't think of it as slang. My first day there, I want to talk in just American English. Just all the slang words, <laughs> like every sentence. And they're just going to be like, what are you saying? And I'll be like, what? I'll be like, oh my God, what's like a word for it's really hot out? I don't know. What's the slang for that? Because it'll probably be really hot out. It's sizzling? No. Or let's say it's cold tomorrow for whatever reason. It's chilling. Be like, it's really brick outside for like summer. And they'll be like, what do you mean it's really brick outside? <laughs> that's my favorite slang word is it's really brick outside when it's really cold. I feel like that's just like an East Coast thing. Maybe. I don't know. But that's my favorite slang. But my first day there, I'm going to talk in a lot of slang. And... I want to see how they react, like if they can understand what I'm saying. And then that's going to be my first vlog of camp. Maybe I'm going to tell you guys how people reacted to the slang. And like if they were like, what the fuck are you saying, girl? Because there's also like American people there. So I'm just like, hey, oh my God, like, I don't know. Something's a couple of bucks. You're going to understand what I'm saying. It's like, the, I think the one thing aside from actually going to camp I'm most excited about is like the language barrier and just seeing the cultural difference. It's not even like... Being, oh, I want to, like, make fun of them. That's, like, not at all what it is. I just find it, like, the cultural... I'm trying to find good lighting. I just find how we find things in America so normal. And it's just, like, every day for us just being like, oh, this is two bucks. Or having sales tax. But when you go to other places, it's the most foreign concept and vice versa. So if I say, oh, my God, it's so hot I'm wearing pants, people are going to be like, I hope you're wearing underwear or something if someone's from Britain. So it's going to be interesting. I'll let you guys know how it goes.